Hi guys, and this is a part 3 tutorial of the how to make a network topology and uh, configure it on a CLI tab. So if you did not watch my pre previous video, be sure to watch that because I will leave a link in the description for all of the those video because now it is the part 3 of the tutorial. So we have already labeled last time the different network address of uh, uh, I mean the network address of these devices. So now we can have to configure it using the CLI tab. So to configure the router, all you have to do is to click the router zero or the first router and then go in the CLI you can see right here CLI tab you can see continue with configuration dialog and you must say and it says zoom that in now and then press enter enable config D to go with the configuration to configure the terminal configure T or just config T and then int FA 0 slash 0. So, where did we get this FA 0 slash 0? Well, it's in here. So, we will set an IP address for this fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. We'll set this FA 0 slash 0. And we will set an IP address for that one. So, just be sure to have the right uh, numbers so for that. be sure to have numbers so it is FA0 slash 0 so you must have FA0 slash 0 right in there so just click enter and then the next thing is to set an IP address so IP add 192.168.0.1 so I where did we get this IP address? So, as you can see right here, 192.168.0.1 is on the fast Ethernet, um, fast Ethernet port. So you must have the same this one. This must be the same. And then the next, the next thing is to uh, select. Or set then I the subnet mask 255.255.0. So what it why it where did we get this 255.255.255.0? So it's in here. So depending on the size of the network, IP based networks are divided into three classes. So there is class A, class B, and then class C. So class A networks are mega monster networks with up to two. 24 nodes, 16 million plus. Class A networks have their network address from 1 to 126. So, in here, in the Cisco Packet Tracer, we use a Y92.168. I mean, don't mind the rest numbers right there, but you must take a look. Don't mind that. You must take a look with this 192. So, According from the classes, 1 to 126 will be using this subnet mask. It is a subnet mask. So as you can see, we use in here, I have to show you, we used 3255, I mean 255.255.255.0. So as you can see, it's the same, right? So it's the same. So why we use the class C? Because from here, according to here, class C, these are the baby network that can have only IP address for the range 192. We use 192. And uh, between 192 and 223, you must use a subnet mask for the class C. As you can see that 
that is a class C subnet mask. So I so I think that's enough explaining what is the corresponding IP address. And just basically click enter and then for the serial interface just type in SA zero slash zero I mean one slash zero. So it is an interface for the serial. So this must be the same. S A S E so that must be the same. And then enter for the IP address of the serial port, just type IP add one eight two dot one six eight dot two dot one. It's the same, right? Because it is for the serial port. It's the same, right? It's the same. So enough for that. And set the subnet mask. So I've already shown you how what is the corresponding subnet mask for this IP address. So the subnet mask must depend on the IP address. So it is 192. So according we are using the class C IP address. So we must have the 255.255.0 subnet mask. And then just press enter and no shot. And then do double UR to save. So that's it for the first router. And on the second router, just do the same thing. So let's just move this IP address right here. So do the same thing CLI. And no. Enter. Enable. Config T for to config terminal and then int FA zero slash zero FA zero slash zero. So we must use this IP address, right? So just enough for that and enter and IP add. 192.168.1.1 is the same. It's the same. So just do the subnet mask. So 255.255.255. I'm sure now you know what is the corresponding subnet mask for the 192. Because between 19 between 191 to 223 is having this subnet mask. I don't have to explain to you that. It's so uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. So enter and then for the serial interface in SE, which is a serial, zero slash one slash zero. And then that's that's right. So uh, just basically press enter IP add 192.168.2.2 So move a little bit and as you can see woo, It's the same right? And also it's the same right? So that must have be the same And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.255 zero and then no shot do double ur so that here are the codes right here so we're done setting the uh configuring the our router these two routers but we forgot to set the clock rate of this one so to set the clock rate just do this clock rate 64000 and bam we're done so we already set the clock rate and then as you can see it's red 
it's red. So to turn that into green, just basically turn the fast Ethernet port on. Port status on. The same thing with the second router. Config interface fast internet Ethernet zero. Port status must be on. Um, we did not uh, already set an IP address for this computer, right? So we will set it right now. So just click that and go in the desktop IP configuration and oh sorry for that this must be the same and the gateway must be the same so 192.168.1.1 0.2 and tab or just click and it will generate automatically and subnet mask because it detects that is it is a class C IP address and the default gateway must be the same right here because it is our gateway in it is our gateway to pass into the router it is the fast Ethernet port that uh, that must be the gateway default gateway for this computer that one six eight that zero that one and as you can see uh, that guy right here must be the same so for the second computer set an IP address IP configuration and then one nine two dot one six eight so just oh sorry for that that must be the same one nine two dot one six eight dot one oh one dot two and tab or click and then use this your as your default gateway because it will pass into the router from the router, this is the default gateway for the fast internet. Must be your default gateway. So 192.168.1.1. So that's the same. That's the same. So we can now test that if we try to send packets into this from this computer into this router is it must have been successful right now so click that click that as you can see right there it's successful source PC 0 to router 0 and do the same thing with this one click PC 1 then you can see that the connection is successful so that is successful so I think that's it for this video because it's 15 minutes and be sure to click the link in the description below to continue watching so if you found this video interest is interesting be sure to continue because we must ha have to continue this tutorial because if we try to connect and send packets from this computer PC0 to PC1 as you can see it's failed the connection is failed so we will going to have an IP routing for in the CLI tab so if you want to learn how to IP route by using CLI uh, tab or command line interface well be sure to continue watching by clicking the link in the description below see you on my next video